their students. So this is the second part of our uh, video lesson about sets. So if you haven't watched yet the first part, uh, nakalagay po yung link niya sa description. So let's start. So, our lesson objectives are, first, to define and illustrate a Venn diagram. Second, to define and illustrate union and intersection of sets using Venn diagram. So, how do we define Venn diagram? A Venn diagram is an illustration of the relationships between and among sets, group of objects that share something in common. So, para mas maintindihan nyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng Venn diagram, so, ipapakita ko siya sa inyo. Ayan. So, ang Venn diagram, uh, naglalaman siya ng dalawang circles na nag-overlap. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, pinagdikit sila para makita yung pinagkaiba at pagkakatulad nung dalawang sets. And then, at the same time, naka-enclose siya sa rectangle. So, lahat ng uh, elements na wala sa A and B ay makikita sa universal set. So, ganyan kahalaga yung universal set. Next. So, kung makikita nyo naman din, mapapansin nyo, tatlo yung kulay. So, sa left side, meron tayong blue-green. Sa pinaka-middle niya is violet. And then, pink naman din sa right side. So, lahat ng elements na nandun sa A, ang set A, makikita lang doon. Ibig sabihin, walang elements ng A ang makikita sa B. On the other hand, doon sa set B naman, yun lang, yun lang yung portion na kung saan yung elements makikita lang sa B na wala sa A. Now, yung nasa gitna naman, ito naman yung elements na common sa dalawang sets. Ibig sabihin, ito yung elements na pareho silang meron. And then, kapag wala ang elements na yon sa dalawang set, ay nandun siya sa labas ng two overlapping circles. So, so, ito naman yung elements na walang common to both sets. So, let's now move on to union of sets. So, the union of set A and set B is the set of elements that are in A, in B, or in both sets. Usually, we write the union of set A and B as A union B. So, ang ibig sabihin lang po ng union of sets na to is pinagsasama yung mga elements ng mga sets. Okay, it could be two sets or three sets. So, para maintindihan nyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng union of sets, so, using a Venn diagram, so, ito ang itsura niya. So, again, we draw uh, a rectangle and then inside the rectangle we have two overlapping circles and then we we have set A and set B. Kapag sinabi nating A union B is yung pinagsasama natin yung mga elements ng A na nasa A, nasa B at syempre yung kanilang mga similarities. So yan lang po yung union of sets. So kung makikita nyo dalawang circle na nag-overlap ay shaded lahat sila ng red. So, let's now move on to the intersection of sets. So, the intersection of set A and B is a set of elements that are common to both sets. So, ito yung kabaligtaran ng union of sets. So, kapag intersection of, of sets na ang pinag-uusapan, yun lang mga elements na pareho or common sa dalawang sets ang kinukuha. Unlike uh, union of sets, pinagsasama yung mga elements ng mga sets. And then, uh, we usually write the intersection or the intersection of set A and B as A, the intersection symbol, B. So, yung intersection symbol natin is yung kabaligtaran ng U. Okay. Next. So, in order for you to uh, know what is the intersection of set A and B, so, we will illustrate it using a Venn diagram. So, if, as you can see, sa the Venn diagram, so, yung git ng uh, part lang, portion lang ang shaded. Okay, so, kanina kasi sa union, di ba, buong 
uh, circles na nag dalawang circles na nag-overlap is naka-shade. So ngayon po hindi. Yung pinakagitna lang nila. It's because we are talking about their common elements. So So ganito natin siya isusulat. Don't forget ha. A intersection B. Kapag letter U siya na ganun, na symbol sa gitna ng dalawang sets, we're talking about union of sets. And then kapag wala naman siya sa hindi naman siya operation the the symbol u is uh, commonly referred to as the universal set so after natin i-discuss yung pagkakaiba ng union sa intersection of sets so let's have example so sa example number 1 natin meron tayong apat na sets na ang mga elements ay mga numbers so ang hahanapin natin is letter a b union c Letter B, C, intersection A. Letter C, A, union B. And letter D, D, intersection A. So, let's have letter A, B, union C. So, the elements of B are 4, 1, 8, 7. The elements of C are 5, 9, 3, 6, 7. So, kung titignan nyo, may element na pareho sila. Common sa dalawa. 7 and 7. Okay. So, isusulat lang po natin yan once. So, ganito po ang final answer. 4, 1, 8, 7, 5, 9, 3, 6. Or, pwede rin natin isulat sila ng naka-arrange. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, kahit alin sa dalawa, pareho lang po sila. Okay? So, let's have letter B. C, intersection A. So, we write C, intersection A. And then, the elements of C, 5, 9, 3, 6, 7. The elements of A, 2, 3, and 9. Now, since intersection ang pinag-uusapan natin, yun lang mga elements na common sa dalawang sets, yung pareho nila. So, ito po yung mga elements na pareho sa dalawang sets, 9 and 3. So, that will be the final answer. 3, 9. Or, 9, 3. So, kahit ano man ang pagka-arrange ng final answer natin, as long as yun yung mga elements talaga na hinahanap na ng given operation natin, tama po yan. So, this is the correct answer. So, what if sinulat natin 3, comma, 9, or 9, comma, 3? Do you think tama ang sagot? Mali po. Why? Because wala po silang mga curly braces. So, hindi po sila considered as set. So, make sure dapat yung mga answer natin meron silang braces. Okay? So, let's have letter C, A, union B. So, A, union B. Again, we write the elements of A, 2, 3, 9. The elements of B, 4, 1, 8, 7. So, wala silang elements na magkatulad. So, since union lang pinag-uusapan, pagsasamahin lang natin sila. The answer is 2, 3, 9, 4, 1, 8, and 7. So, this will be the final answer. Now, let's have letter D. So, for letter D, we have D intersection A. D intersection A. The elements of D, 8, 3, 4, 2. The elements of A, 2, 3, and 9. Now, ano yung common elements ng dalawang set na yan? Yun yung 3 and 2. Ayan. So, the intersection A, the answer is 2 and 3. Or, 3, 2. Final answer. Okay? Now, what about the given elements of each set are letters? 
So, wala naman pong pinag-aiba yun. Same rules apply. So, we have four different sets. M, A, T, H. And then, find H intersection A, M union T, and T intersection H. So, let's have letter A. So, for letter A, we have H intersection A. So, we write H intersection A. The elements of H are L, M, N. The elements of A are L, N, P, R. So, since ang pinag-uusapan natin is yung intersection, so, yung, magkakam yung magkamukhang elements lang ang kukunin nating sagot. So, ano mga common elements ng dalawang set na yan? We have L, saka N. So, the answer for H intersection A is L and N. This is the final answer. Next, for letter B, we have N union T. So, we write down the elements of M, K, L, M. And then, the elements of T, K, O, Q, R, and P. Now, union ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, we have to combine the two elements of M and T. So, final answer will be K, L, M, and then O, Q, R, and P. So, remember, pag may mga elements na magkamuka sa dalawang set, once lang po natin sila isusulat. So, this will be the final answer. So, for our last example, we have T intersection H. So, kukunin natin yung mga elements na common to both sets. So, we have T intersection H. The elements of T, again, K, O, Q, R, P. The elements of H, L, M, N. So, may nakikita po kayong mga elements in common nila? So, wala po. So, kapag ganun, isasagot natin is null set or empty set. So, kailan lang ginagamit ang null set or empty set kapag wala pong common elements? O, walang elements yung given set. So, yun ang magiging sagot natin. So, as long as meron naman tayong makukuhang sagot, huwag natin isasagot ang empty set. So, dito kasi, kitang-kita naman, walang elements ang magkatulad sa dalawang set na given. So, final answer is null set or empty set. So, kung kanina ginamit nating uh, elements ng mga set ay numbers and letters, so ngayon naman gagamitin natin mga words. For example, uh, set X, the elements are cat, dog, goat. Y, dog, lion, horse, frog. For set C, we have goat, cat. So, hanapin natin yung X union Y, Y intersection Z, X intersection Z, and Z union X. Okay. So, for letter A, we have X union Y. So, pagsasamayin lang po natin yung mga elements ng set X and Y. So, for the solution, x union y, and then the elements of x, cat, dog, goat. The elements of y, dog, lion, horse, and frog. Okay. So, yun yan ang operation natin. Pagsasamahin lang po natin sila. So, the final answer will become cat, dog, goat, lion, horse, and rat. So, ano yung common elements nila? Common element nila is dog. Okay. So, this will be our final answer. So, for letter B, we have Y intersection Z. 
So, kukunin natin yung common elements to both set. So, sulat natin y intersection z and then the elements of y dog lion horse frog and then the elements of z goat and cat. So, as you can see, walang common elements yung dalawang set na given. So, what will be the answer? Of course, null set or empty set. So, linawan lang po natin yung mga mata natin. So, wala pong common elements sa dalawang given set. Now, we have x intersection z. So, sulat natin yung elements ng x and z. Cat, dog, goat. And then, the elements of z, goat, and cat. So, intersection ng operation natin, kukunin natin yung mga common elements sa dalawang given set. So, yung mga common elements natin, ayan, we have cat and goat. Okay. So, sulat natin, curly braces, cat and goat. Therefore, the intersection of x and z is cat and goat. Okay. So, for our last item, we have Z union X. So, pagsasamahan lang natin yung elements ng set Z and X. So, Z union X equals the elements of Z, we have goat, cat. And then, union, the elements of X, cat, dog, and goat. So, the final answer will be goat, cat, and dog. Okay. So, this will be the final answer. So, para ipakita kung ano ang intersection of set A and B using a Venn diagram. So, una, ito yung set A. And then, set B. Now, so, kung titignan natin yung dalawang set, meron silang pinagkatulad na elements. Yun yung 2, tsaka 3. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? So, yung intersection nila na elements, isusulat natin sa pinaka kitna. That is 2, and then 3. Tapos nun, yung naiwan na element, element sa A, which is 1, isusulat lang natin siya dun sa side ng set A. Okay. And then, yung set B naman, yung mga elements na naiwan, which are 5 and 8, ganun din. Isusulat natin sila sa portion ng set B. Ayan, so 5, 8. So, ito ang itsura ng A intersection B. So, makikita nyo na yung intersection nila is nasa gitna. 2 and 3. So, what's next? So, after natin i-discuss yung union and intersection of sets, we also have two more operations, which are uh, the complement of a set and the difference between two sets. So, I hope na naintindihan nyo kung anong difference between union and intersection of sets. Kung hindi, panoorin nyo ulit yung video. At least, uh, mas marerefresh kayo, marerecall nyo kung ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba nila. Minsan kasi nagkakaroon ng confusion yung mga students kung ano ba yung union, ano ba yung intersection. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.